One of the most common questions I get every year from clients, readers, viewers, is what time should you enter a deer stand in the morning? And what I don't like about the answers to that, and you'll see them online, I've seen them on YouTube, on, uh, on various whitetail blogs and articles, is that people try to pin down a certain time. You know, you have to get in your stand and all set a half hour before, an hour before, an hour and a half before. And there's really no set time that is appropriate for every situation. In fact, there's a lot more to deer hunting than just saying, I'm going to do this every time I enter the woods. And there's, that's certainly true for uh, the morning hours. We're in a spot right here where, because of the food plot right here, this open field, open pasture out here, we're very likely to spook deer when we're walking through here during the dark hours, especially in the morning. When we come through in the morning, we don't know if they're in their bedding areas, if they're in their food sources, or if they're in the openings out here. Might even have a buck chasing a doe out here, tending a doe. So we don't know where they're at. Afternoon when we get out, um, it gets dark. Pretty definitively, 95% of the deer are in their afternoon food source. And you can count on that every day, especially when you have food plots or ag fields and you know where they're feeding exactly every single day. What comes in the morning hours though, this is a great example of a spot where we have to access through areas that are filled with deer in the morning hours. All we do is wait back on that little knoll back there, make sure there's no deer in the spot. And then if we're gonna enter this stand right up behind me that's on the top of the ridge, we just simply wait for the deer to clear the fields. We walk straight into the stand location, sit down, and unless those deer are passing by that stand in that little five minute window we're walking in or one minute or two minutes, whatever it is, then we're not gonna spook any deer, pretty def definitively. That works if you're going across an open ag field and you have this great stand. I saw it on a TV program a while back where they couldn't figure out how to hunt this buck that was coming out into this ag field and they wanted to get into the stand location that was 20 yards into the woods and they, they knew if they went in the morning hours, they couldn't do it. If they get out in the afternoon, they're spooking deer. What a great stand opportunity to wait for the deer to clear the field, walk straight to the stand, perpendicular to the wood line, which is also perpendicular to way, to way that buck would be cruising the field edge, parallel to the field edge during the mid-morning hours, and sit in that stand a half hour after, after light in the morning, maybe sit it till two or three in the afternoon, and then get back out of there. You get a great time and a big cruising window on a buck that's probably not used to having anybody there during those hours. Great opportunity for here. Now, I love to get into my stand early, hour early, 45 minutes early, hour and a half sometimes. If it's a location that I can get into well away from food in the morning, I'm not spooking deer on the way in, typically the backside of a bedding area, in between bedding areas that are two, three, four hundred yards off the of food source. But once I get to that stand location, my downwind has to be blocked. What I mean by that is I have to have a cliff, I have to have a road, a house, something, a lake, a stream, a river, a swamp, somewhere where I know that when I'm sitting there an hour before light and waiting for that daylight to break, then I'm not spooking out my hunt before it even begins. Because if I'm sitting in that location and my winds are blowing downwind and say open pasture where deer would never be caught um, during the daylight hours, they might freely cruise there through their half hour before dark or before light, 45 minutes before light. And then what happens is that deer blows, spooks, and I just ruin that spot maybe for the rest of the season, especially if it's a mature buck. So if I get into that stand an hour early, I make sure and certain that deer are not gonna get downwind to me before daylight. And, and you really have to pay attention to that, especially when you're, wind, you're blowing your wind out into open fields, pastures where deer will freely cruise during the darkness hours, but not during the daylight. So a lot of those kind of stand locations where say around here where I'm walking into an area where it might be an arena where deer can see me up on the side of the hillside, then my favorite time to get into a stand like that is I can see there's no deer right in the half light. I use half light and gray light to block my, block my view getting into the stand, but I'm literally getting into that stand and getting set up just right about shooting hours, maybe five minutes before, 10 minutes before. So whether you're getting in an hour early and your, your downwind is blocked when you get in there and you're not spooking deer on the way in, that's one time frame. Pick your time, 45 minutes before, hour before daylight, hour and a half, whatever, whatever you feel like. As long as you're blocked, your downwind's blocked and that's great. That next, next one is if you need that gray light to get in and you're getting into that stand 
and you're likely that something could get downwind of you before daylight, then use that gray light, get into your stand, you're getting there just there five, 10 minutes before shooting hours and you're getting all settled, waiting for the, waiting for the woods to wake up. And finally, if you have to cross open fields, ag field to get in, just wait till the day breaks. Use your binoculars, sit off on a knoll somewhere, make sure there's no deer, walk straight into the stand, enjoy a several hour sit, and you can call it a great morning access. Be very wary if you get advice for different time, you know, certain time frame that you have to go into every time. There's no certainties in deer hunting, and that especially applies to your morning entrance. For deer stands, doesn't matter what time of the season.